solo backpacking. Haven't made a trip video in a minute. We'll talk about that later at the fireside chat. The objective today, just testing out gear. I have tons of new stuff I just want to play around with. Also, uh, I have two announcements. One pertains to me, which it might be exciting for you. The biggest reason why I'm out here is I just want to make a fat steak on a fire. Beautiful freak 50 degree February day. It's not 50 yet, but it's it's supposed to get there. It's gonna drop tonight, which is good because I'm testing uh, the new sleeping pad from Nemo, the extreme conditions. That thing should handle that fine, but I've never used it yet, so we will see. Yeah, let's get into this. We're gonna have some fun today. All right, we are there. Right now I'm gonna set up my tent and I might wanna think about getting some firewood because I am depending on good coals to cook my uh, steak on tonight. Or I'm gonna be eating raw steak, or really not. I'm not gonna eat if I am not gonna cook it. <laughs> a little wet out here, a little muddy, because it's February. Everything was snowy a week or two ago, so everything's kind of melty and, and gross out, but nonetheless, sun's shining, nice day. All right, we got the Outdoor Vitals 40s 1P tent, the one person. Uh, I'm not real good at setting up, to be, uh, to be honest with you. It's not the prettiest setup, but it works. I got the Kilos pad set up in there. I'm not even using that tonight. I mean, since I wanted to make a video today of it, I thought it'd be nice to get some tent shots with it. Uh, it's supposed to drop into like the mid-20s today, Fahrenheit. So that would actually be a good test for that. I'm gonna start getting a fire going. Kind of losing daylight. I've been out here for like three or four hours already. I brought fire starters, so I'm not gonna take a lot of time doing this. Just gonna throw some wood in a pile and light her up. So, March, I'm going back out to Utah again. Gonna do uh, some Hiking in the desert, not my wheelhouse. Love a good adventure. Hey. Nope. So I'll tell you guys uh, one of my breaking news while I'm trying to start this. Uh, this will be the one that pertains to you Ohio backpackers. Unless you haven't figured it out, I'm at Mohican. The park and pack sites are back in commission. Tornado came through here a few years ago, decimated a lot of the area, and they shut down all the park and pack sites. Well, now they are back up. So when I was looking in the sign-in sheet, I noticed nobody was signing up for Campsite 10, which is the one I always kind of look for. It's the most popular, and I knew immediately what that meant. So they have did away with Campsites 8, 9, and 10, which are on the top of the north end of, I think it's the north of the gorge. So... That sucks because those sites are awesome. But all the other sites are now open and you can legally camp here again. So I'm so thankful for that. This is a hour drive for me. One of the closer places that I just love coming. I need to go get small stuff. More small stuff. Got a couple beers with me. Got a, a ribeye steak. Everything's pretty wet out here. Yeah. Stuff felt pretty dry, but I mean, we just had snow. All right. I quit messing around. She's being stubborn. Uh, I only have one more fire starter because I didn't bring very many. That was dumb. The only, only reason why I'm rushing right now is because I don't want to film this whole video in the dark. I like having some light to talk to you guys. Okay, so second try was a fail. I am taking fire for granted at this moment. So basically, I'm in a valley here. It doesn't get a whole lot of sun. Uh, long story short, it went up all the way to the top up there, grabbed a nice big tree that was completely dry. I mean, light, dry, dry. Now I'm taking my time. I really just thought I'd light a fire starter and throw some sticks on, but that is not the case. 
Well, my plan worked. I did use a couple pieces of paper because I was on my last fire starter. So I wasn't playing around, but that stuff was so dry. It just went so good. Just got back from up top. I dug down two big trees. I'm gonna saw these bad boys up. I might have to make one more trip up there, which sucks because that's really far and it's really muddy. First up on the list, Nut House Peanut Butter Porter. Millersburg Brewing Company. So these are some things I literally bought just for fun. Not for backpacking, just for camping. I've always wanted one of these. And I never popped on one yet. Just a tiny little grill. That's all I need, that's perfect. This was like, I think 10 bucks on Temu. I wasn't sure what that site was about, so I, I picked like three things out. I got another one of these chairs. I think it was 15 or 20 bucks. Compared to 100, I had to try it out. And this was just kind of dumb, but I thought it'd be uber convenient. This, okay, down then on. So now we have a workstation. Isn't that cool? This is actually really chintzy. Is that even gonna? I might have to modify it. That's okay, I like modifying stuff. So I do have a grill right here, if you can see. But I really don't want to use that. The ribeye, seasoning for that. Potatoes, peppers, onions, and olive oil and some spices. That'll be good. I did remember a fork. That's decent. I'm gonna let that burn down. And whatever I get out of that is what we're cooking on tonight. I should probably get my stuff out I'm gonna sleep with. Nemo Tensor Extreme Conditions, 8.5 R value. That is decent. Do I think this is gonna be two R value warmer than an X-Therm? I don't. I really don't. Let that baby pump up. My quilt, Outdoor Vitals, Storm Loft, 15 degree. Oh, I got the pad straps on here, I forgot about that. That'll be nice. Certified Angus Beef Ribeye, good local grass-fed factory farm meat right here. <laughs> Usually they have local stuff at this store. Oh, an employee-owned company, so it's not factory farm. Uh, vegetables, I'm actually eating kind of healthy. A lot of times I'll come out and just throw an entire pound of bacon on there and eat nothing but that, which is why I need a little supplement, which segues us into the sponsor of today's video, AG1. AG1 is a once a day foundational nutrition supplement that increases my intake of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. I am not getting all that I should with my normal diet. I mean, I know that the vitamins I'm getting from this, I wouldn't be getting with it. it has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. AG1 sources the highest ingredients that they can find. So I'm getting a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals that support my immune system that I probably miss in my diet. I know I do actually. I'm lucky to eat one fruit or one vegetable a day. That really appealed to me uh, alone, but also I'm getting kind of old and I've been thinking about taking some like multivitamin because been getting a little thin up top. And AG1 supports healthy aging, designed to support your body, brain, and gut health. I don't wanna get into too many details, but it's, it's just been better. It absolutely has been better. I would recommend this to my friends and family at this point. Probiotics, stress adaptogens, superfoods, super mushrooms, so much health. <laughs> Promotes focus, mental clarity, cardiovascular health. Really has too much to list. I totally recommend it to all my friends and family. Uh, you know, your health is more important now than ever. Like, we are not getting any younger. It's, it's crazy how fast the years are going by. Truthfully, I should have been taking, like, vitamins and stuff a lot sooner. Scan the QR code to get a free welcome kit, which includes a canister, shaker bottle, year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2, and five AG1 travel packets. I'm also gonna put a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. Thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video. My dirty, dirty hands. 
Phil's character. Now I'm gonna try my best to not overcook this steak. Everybody makes fun of me because I've done it in a few videos. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I swear I'm not even drunk. Okay, so a lot of you guys might have noticed the format of the videos has changed a little bit. Why is my ISO at 400? That should be up, right? Oh, we need auto ISO, right? Yeah, there we go. That's better. What it comes down to is I didn't really watch a lot of YouTube for a while, and every now and then uh, someone will upload a video and it's like you watch it immediately. And I was really looking at what videos did I watch like that I really get excited for, and there's really only like two people that I drop what I'm doing when they upload a video and watch. What the content's about doesn't even really matter that much to me. I enjoy that it's funny the whole way through. So I kind of decided that, you know, when I'm doing these gear videos and stuff, like, yeah, I'll talk about backpacking and pros and cons of all this stuff, but I really want to make videos that are fun for me and making them like dumb, <laughs> just stupid and funny is what I really like to do. Whether I'm hitting that mark, I don't know. I mean, the first few I uh, uploaded did really, really well. And no negative comments until the last couple where people were like, Oh, I could have used less of the silliness. It's like, you know what? There's less silliness in about every other channel out there. You know, no offense. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I want to have fun. I want to make videos that are fun. Uh, are they going to be all stupid and really jokes punch punch lines every five seconds no i'm gonna keep doing these too like down to earth stuff but i get a little carried away with the jokes sometimes i'll think oh i need jokes here there and there and i get carried away and it's just like oh my gosh the video has no backpacking value at all <laughs> let me know what, what you guys think yeah i've been having fun with youtube uh this is the first time in my life where i'm actually i actually see full-time youtuber in the in the future I was kind of joked with my boss, like for years, like, oh, you only got me for a few more years. All right, the announcement I was gonna make that directly uh, pertains to me <laughs> is stupid. I'm sorry that I uh, suckered you in with a big, big announcement later. So this is dumb, but it means something to me in here. This is my hat. The beanie I literally had in my first ever YouTube avatar. It's the one I wear in that. I've had this for over 10 years. I wear almost nothing but this. I know some people are against North Face as a company. I don't know, I just like the hat. It's woven, it's cool. Everybody's always asking me what kind of hat it is. I didn't really know because I got it at Gander Mountain on clearance for $6 before they went out of business. So I'm cruising on Facebook Marketplace. You know where this is going looking for North Face tents, and what pops up? But another one. Except this one's gray, so I kind of like it even more. The exact same thing, brand new condition. It's crazy. We're going for another 10 years, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah, baby, yeah! Look at it. This isn't even a good beanie, <laughs> like it's woven. So the wind resistance of this thing like actually sucks. You can feel the wind through it. It's not that warm, but I still, I, I don't know, I just like it. Should I wear the new one tonight? I think I will. We'll wear the new one. We'll break it in a little bit. Burn some holes in it later. All right, Timu. Is this thing gonna melt in the fire or what? Did that burn it already? Oh, she's seared. God, it's almost done, I'd say. Just seared. Oh yeah, that's raw as hell. All right, you done, baby? Oh my gosh. See that deet? See that detail? There's a lot of fat on this. I'm a little disappointed. It's like all fat. I'm gonna eat it all anyway. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, that's good. Mission accomplished. This is why I came out today. Fire steak beer chilling.
steamy hot meat, baby. Dang, I can't believe I overcooked it. I mean, I can. I wasn't watching her real good. <laughs> She's a little pink, but that's it. This fork sucks. I need to bring a good steak fork. A fork and a plate. You know, I never think of the plate, ever, until the moment when I have to pull the steak off the fire. I love that Mohican's back open again. Man, that sucked not being able to come here. And I don't know if they were like letting people camp at these sites or not, because they obviously have been used. You can tell. Yeah, yeah. Steak is done in my belly. I haven't tried the veggies yet, but I'm just stoking the fire back up because it's starting to drop in temp. I'd say it's under 40 right now. Yeah, they're done for sure. Holy crap. Ugh. That's hot. I like the little grill. That'll be really nice. That's, that'll be a nice addition when I don't have a fire ring at all. And a little table. Needs some modification, but it'll be good. We're going to go ahead with the voodoo because I don't want to pack this out tomorrow. I do have one more 12 ounce porter, but this is 9%, so we better do this one. <laughs> Things get a little crazy when I bring the ranger, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. I was going to use Nemo Extreme Conditions tonight. I think I'm going to start off with that and maybe switch off in the middle of the night to the Kilos Aero Cloud because I would really like to see what it does in 25 degree Fahrenheit weather. Uh, it says it's an R value 5 that's ASTM rated. No! What pad will be warmer? The Kilos or the Tensor Extreme Conditions, which by the way, I've heard mixed reviews on. I was skeptical before I even got it which is half the reason I got it, but I also thought that if it is like, if it is good, then it's gonna be my winter pad, which I don't know if that's really true because it's a mummy 20, 20 inch wide. So it's like not the one I would have picked, but dude, those are expensive pads. And this one was discounted, 100 bucks off. I couldn't pass it up, at least just to test it. You know, I can always get rid of it. Probably won't though, because I'm a gear hoarder. Beautiful night out. I was talking earlier, it's like a freak February day. The sky is completely clear. I can see all the stars right now. Man, it's gorgeous. So, the game plan for tonight, I'm, it's solidified. I blew up the kilo gear again. I'm gonna start out on the aero cloud tonight. That's the plan. I'm gonna be kind of sad if I wake up and the sun is up and I slept through the night and didn't switch at all to the uh, Nemo because, I mean, the whole reason I wanted to come out tonight was, well, I mean, I mentioned why, but I really wanted to try out that extreme conditions pad. Stay tuned because in the morning, I'm gonna tell you how the night went. Did I die? Is the aero cloud junk? All right, I'm done talking. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, people assume I get drunk in these videos, but I don't know, I just act weird when I'm by myself, I think. I'm not even buzzing at all from that. <laughs> okay, that's it. I will see you guys in the morning. All right, love the tent. This tent's pretty sweet. For a one-person tent, a lot of friggin' headroom. I started out on the aero cloud. How did it do? Well, woke up, I could definitely feel cold. I could feel cold coming through it. Uh, so I checked my phone, it was like three o'clock in the morning. It was 20 seven degrees i was hoping it would take me down past that now granted 
I wasn't cold, but I could feel the cold coming through. So I wouldn't want to take it any lower than that. Then at 3.30 in the morning, got the, uh, the tensor extreme conditions back out. And man, this thing's a little heater. This thing is awesome. Now I've never used like a Thermarest X-Therm. And like I said before, I was skeptical if this was even going to compare to that. I tried buying one on eBay, actually. There was a good deal on one, and someone didn't want you guys to see that comparison. So <laughs> I got outbid 27 degrees last night, and I feel my body warmth being, like, you know, reflected back at me. This is great. Great pads, comfortable. It's got a little bit more support, like the other Tensor did with the, um or against the aero cloud the short width 20 inch wide mummy bag style sucks but now that i know this pad like is warm maybe i'll end up getting another one uh, it passed the test it's a bit chilly vegan beef jerky for breakfast this was sent to me by uh, the company right on trek they make full packaged meals for backpacking which I thought was a little pricey, but considering what you pay for food, it's really not. But they send you a bag with like an entire day of just a array of stuff. You get a lot of good ideas out of that. Things you otherwise wouldn't buy, you get. Mm -mm. That is good. Ugh. I figured there'd be frost everywhere today. Just on my tent though, for my breath. I really liked the Kilos pillow last night. That little bit of cotton on it, that feels really good. Not a big fan of blow up pillows, but this one actually felt more like home than any other one I've used, so pretty good. It's a bit shitty. Oh, good. All packed up, ready to go. Let me know if you guys want to see a trip video when I go to Utah next month. You know, it's been kind of nice not making them, but I always, I always get a bunch of footage anyway. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Beautiful morning. Looks like we're gonna have another nice day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.